those are so nice. What is my good boy doing? What are you doing? Trying to hide from your zoo, sister? What are you doing, big guy? Good hi. Little Daisy. This little hellion's our new addition. Look at her. She's so cute. She's thinking cute. She's a biter. She's a biter. Oh man, what's going on YouTube? One of the extra I'm here. Whew. I have not bloated for a hot fucking minute. You know, I actually do have a lot of content, but the problem is my audio has been so screwed up with all of it that I didn't want to put it out. Uh, I couldn't. You can hear me, but there's just the, the wrong amount of wind noise. You know, it wasn't something that I personally would want to tolerate listening to. So I'm just not going to put it out there because if I'm not going to like it, you're not going to like it. So I'm hoping uh, I kind of went back to the spot that it was at before. So I'm probably going to have to deal with a little bit of muffled, but not a lot of wind noise, which, you know, is a trade off from what I found. And it, it is what it is. Oh man, what's been happening? How are we all doing? Uh, I, I only have a lot to go off of this vlog today. I think the only thing I'm going to talk about is uh, what I've kind of been through. Man, you can't see this for shit. Wow, those are terrible. I just kind of want to go over, you know, like go over. So chat, you know, I haven't done a video in a long time. It's kind of like a random vlog. Um, but you saw in the beginning, I got a puppy. Our, uh, unfortunately, our old man passed away, oh god, what, a month and a half ago? And then this little girl, Great Dane, Merle Mantle, popped up and it's from the same breeder we got our great, our big black Great Dane dozer from. So, yeah, we're pretty excited about that. Our school's still going on. Uh, I still have that, but it's, you know, all online, so it's a little better, schedule-wise. Uh, I'm, I'm working, I'm essential, and that comes with its ups and downs, and that's kind of what I want to share in my video today, it's kind of, it's kind of personal. It's kind of personal video for me, uh, for the past, fuck month or so I've been dealing with a lot of anxiety about this whole virus thing and I know statistically it makes no sense for someone my age that has no zero underlying issues to worry so much about it and not just you know giving it to anyone else but just for my own safety and health so you know it, it, a lot of people may think well Actually, it doesn't really make sense, man. You're, you're probably good. And, you know, I, a part of my brain gets that. But I actually developed this anxiety years ago uh, when I was out in the Middle East and MERS was going on. You know, I was in Japan when SARS also first started, but it didn't really affect me much. Because I was, I was at sea, I was gone. I was, you know, I was in and out of the countries and whatnot. So it didn't really affect me as much as it MERS did because I was contracting overseas, I'm out there for money only, and now this thing comes up and it started to freak me out that I wasn't going to make it home because of something like this. And you know, I left the country, hey, the anxiety went away, yay, good job, right? But in reality, all I did was leave it. I didn't actually deal with it. I didn't manage it. I didn't. I didn't acknowledge it properly or anything. So when this virus came out and you know it became a pandemic and spread everywhere and it's in every state and there's thousands of people, hundreds of thousands of people have had it and tens of thousands have died and you know it, it really struck home and I started to develop symptoms mentally. You know, I, I had shortness of breath and I was 100% due to anxiety and mild panic attacks and I got to the point where I'd have days where I slept like two three hours because of this I have trouble falling asleep staying asleep I, I'd have trouble focusing on work like I was working on something and I am in a I'm in a closed area in a lab and I need to keep my wits about me because stuff there is dangerous and expensive 
and uh, I end up falling off with something that never really happens. I've made mistakes that are very uncharacteristic of me, and you know, I, I was I realized I was being affected. I realized that I was actually being affected by my mental state to the point that I wasn't really doing my job very well. So, you know, after a couple weeks went by and, you know, it's a perfect storm with uh, the allergies because I do have allergies and they go, they go crazy at this point because of everything blooming. It's been wet here in Arizona, wetter than normal. So the allergies are real bad. So I got this tickle in my throat. I have shortness of breath. The only thing I don't have is a fever. So I'm like, I'm doing all this research and that's even worse. And, you know, I, I finally decided to go to the doctors and, uh, you know, get my checked out, check my lungs and all that stuff. And of course, lungs are good. No issues, no fever or whatever. My, my issues are post-nasal drip for my sinus issues and, and it's very common for allergies. So I get a shot, this is last Sunday, I get a shot uh, called Kenalog, and it's using a lot of other things, but you know, the doctor, it's a low dose. The doctor's like, you know, not a lot of side effects, shouldn't be too bad, it's not gonna break your immune system enough to do anything because you have a very strong immune system, blah, blah, blah. So lo and behold, last week, last week Monday and Tuesday, I had nausea all fucking day. I didn't eat anything for two straight days. And to go along with the shot, it's a steroid, so naturally it raises your anxiety. So not only did I give myself other symptoms, but I made my anxiety worse just by having this in me. And I actually do regret getting that shot. Uh, I mean, side effects are gone. But still, it's something that I probably shouldn't have done. And I'm talking to you like this because I feel like I'm not the only person that has experienced some sort of anxiety because of this stuff. I mean, our lives are severely displaced, our habits, our routines, all that stuff. I went from being insanely busy all the time to just having too much time in my hands, too much time to think about shit and worry about stuff. And, you know, it's crazy. I, I seriously started to develop uh, OCD, but it's like a semi-motor semi function in OCD, or I get something along those lines where it's a bodily function that happens without you thinking about it. But because of these uh, symptoms, you start thinking about it and, and then obsessing whether or not I'm breathing properly. And it just, it mutates, it transforms, and it consumes you. And it's, honestly, it's fucking terrifying because you don't actually have a problem. I don't actually have a problem. I'm not actually sick. I don't have the flu. I don't have a common cold. I literally have allergies and anxiety. That's it. And really understanding that is taking a lot of time. And like, even now, now that I understand it, because I actually got a COVID test because someone in my lab tested positive for it. They didn't tell me till a freaking week later, which really irked me. But because of that, I decided to get myself tested. And I missed a day, but it came back negative, which is great. So because it came back negative, you know, I, I know that I don't have it right now. And I know that everything that I've had has been mental. And I tell you what, guys, really, really, uh, during this time, focus on your, your mental state. Because, <coughs> because that's just going to keep you through. It's going to keep you going. You know, I didn't want to ride for a while. The last time I rode with Hep and and uh, the other guys up Mount Lemon, I didn't even record anything. I didn't feel right. The whole time up there, I started to get a panic attack while I was up there. And had a, I just, that's why I wasn't around them. I tried to stay away from them. You know, I just wasn't myself. 
and it's I'm still not myself but I've been able to eat so that's a major plus but it's just, it's just real you know whether you get the virus or not I hope you don't but if you don't and you're like me that's developed these issues talk about them there's there's not a lot you can do inside your mind when your mind isn't right trust me and this stuff isn't things I would normally worry about you know I am my wife says it all the time, she jokes when I get sick that I usually say, well, I'm going to go work out, drink a shot of something, go to bed and do it the next day and keep, and just freaking burn it out of my system. It usually doesn't affect me in a way that is traumatizing, but yet this is. So I know this video has been long and ranty, but you know, it's just something I want to go off a chest and put out there to show that, you know, Everyone's human. You know, we all have our own little quirks. We all have our own struggles. And I'm here to tell you that you're not alone. Message me on Instagram, C1 only. Hit me up on this on this video. Leave a message, a comment, whatever, man. Just let's chat. I'm here for everyone. You know, it's been, it's been hard on a lot of people. Uh, those of you that are out of work, I feel for you. Because along with the stress of possibly getting sick, you lost work, you mean you probably don't have insurance, so now you're worried about getting sick, not having insurance, and then how the fuck are you gonna pay for everything? You know, I, these are very real, real fears, and as much as I don't want to be cliche and say we're gonna make it through, because we will, uh, it's time to look into yourself if you've been fired, it's the perfect opportunity to look inside and go, you know, I've been doing this job for however many years and go, I don't love it one bit. But I do love this. Focus all of your efforts onto that, onto becoming and getting to that spot that you want to actually be. So when everything opens back up, you have a plan or you've already started to go the direction you want to go. Use this time to benefit yourself. Reflect, really, really work on yourself. I know, not the most super energetic. I found that I am just not that vlogger. I am not the uh, super jokester, <coughs> realist. That's a cool ass old Jeep. What the fuck is that? I don't know what that is. <laughs> but, I've got a lot of life ex life experience and uh, I like to share that with you all. So uh, I'm going to proceed at a spirited fashion around this particularly dead and open section of road because I feel it's my civic duty to do so. Uh, and yeah, hope you all have a good one. Stay safe. And enjoy as much as you can. I'm out.